Hello friends, I am Andrea Ocampo and we're going to be asking some hard hitting questions to the one and only Eric. Are you ready, Eric? I think I am. Really? I think Are so. Are you sweating? I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm definitely nervous. Okay, there's nothing to be nervous about, but I definitely want to ask you, when Sid started working here, what was your original feeling about him starting off over here? Well, I had hadn't heard too much of Sid because he was always on oh, really? well he was Haven't always heard. on the air when I was on the air or working you know when I was working here so I never got to hear a lot of his show I saw him a lot on IMIS on the TV mm -hmm. and that's where I got to really where I found out about Sid and I got to see him do his thing on IMIS but um like I said once he came back when he once he came down here I didn't really hear a lot of his show because like I said he was on in the mornings I was always on in the mornings and I could I would never I could never hear it but I always heard about him I always knew he was in the market and making news and making noise like word on the street you definitely right heard. oh yeah, yeah I knew he was here and then um I had heard that you know he was coming here and uh, I was looking forward to it but immediately I was told I wasn't gonna get to work with him because he wanted to bring his own people from 560 and he brought uh one of, one of his guys that didn't work out, and maybe about a, three weeks to a month into the show, he uh, he asked around who in the building would be the guy to get, and they said me, and so I joined the show, and uh, we pretty much hit it off right away. I mean, you know, I've heard all the stories and this and that, but he's been nothing but great, and... Did you have any apprehension, apprehensions, obviously, moving forward, considering... Well, I had world. heard, you know, <laughs> that he was wild, and I heard, you know, but that was kind of where I was coming from myself. I was always working with guys that were a little too tame. I was always... Him and I were, were both the same age, and we were both raised on the same kind of radio. It's It was Imus, it was Howard, it was Neil Rogers. It was guys that were a little more edgy and, and pushed the envelope a little more. And I was working with guys who were much more reserved and kind of stayed very conservative. And I was always wanting to kind of open it up a little more, but that wasn't the case, you know, the host has to drive the show. So when he came in, it was almost for me like a breath of fresh air because now I could finally get to do the things that I, I wanted to do. And you know, like I said, with him, it was just full steam ahead. And like I said, I, so far it's been great. I, so how many years? Three years or so? Oh, uh, we're going on three years. I guess this um, August or September, I think, is when he started. So this this summer will be three years. So and I'm does still he, here. <laughs> you're still I'm here. Still here. I, he hasn't got rid of me, so I must be doing okay. Does it keep you on your toes? Always. I mean, <laughs> the show. I get here at four o'clock, and I don't leave. You know, until after the show. And when I leave the show, I'm pretty much exhausted because <laughs> to, to do the show on its own is, is, is a lot of work because he demands a lot of production. You know, we go from politics to sports to entertainment. Yeah. So we've got to kind of be up on just about everything. But then you factor in him. And then he makes a hard situation even worse because he's just such a nut. He's, he's got endless energy. He's like a live wire in the studio. He doesn't stop. He doesn't sit down. He's, he's constantly moving and running around and he's just, um, He's a handful, so that, that six to ten, that four hours. It's definitely a workout. It's definitely exhausting, yeah. But but satisfying and gratifying, yeah. And do you have any secrets that you can divulge of Sid? Secrets? Yeah. Um, wow, I don't know about any secrets that I could actually say in public. Well, that's a good friend right there. But uh <laughs> But uh, no, I mean, the, 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 maybe the biggest secret is the, the idea of who he is out in the public is, couldn't be farther from the truth behind the scenes. I mean, you know, people know him as a loud mouth and an egotistical and, you know, they've heard of his problems and his wildness and this and that. But the Sid that I've met in the last two and a half to three years is basically, you know, he's generous, he's considerate. Um, He's, he's kind, giving, I mean, he's been nothing but giving, you know, to us since he's been here. Uh, he pulls for his guys, he pulls for me and Z-Mac all the time, you know, helping us get on the air, more airtime in, in, in our own shows even. And uh, like I said, he's been nothing but pleasant. I mean, he's had us, invited me and my fiance out to his house many times for dinner and, and to, you know, go with him to Panther games mm -hmm. and sit in Club Red. So, uh, I mean, that would probably be just my own. I don't really have any secrets, but that would probably be the, you know, the illusion of who he is out mm -hmm. in the public. And then when you get to meet him, you know, the radio show is a show and he turns it up a hundred, you know, <laughs> he amps it up, right. Yeah, he amps it up. You see a pretty amped up version of who he is. But uh, 
off the air, like I said, he's he's been great. I mean, he's I consider him just not someone I work with, but he's a friend now mm -hmm. at this point. Well, definitely take us behind the scenes in terms of your job. I'm sure there are things that you absolutely love, and I'm sure there are things that many of you do not like well, so much. So take us behind the scenes. Well, the what hours that you love. The hours aren't the greatest. The things I love. <laughs> Well, I, I love doing radio. Mm -hmm. um, I love sports. I love, uh, you know, just just doing radio. And, and what he does on the air allows me to do the things that I love. I love, you know, the sound effects. I love organizing the, the, the music and the, the sound that we do and use. And just kind of like, if you hear any audio coming out of those speakers during the show, it's what I'm doing, you know, whether it's running the mics, music, sound bites, sound effects. Mm -hmm. And uh, it just allows me the chance to be a huge part of the show. You know, he gives that to you. You know, he comes in and he will he allows you to, to be a big part of the show. It's his show. It's all Sid Rosenberg. But he does allow you to get some of the spotlight. So, like I said, that's, that's, one of the, that's probably the thing I enjoy the most. And how about the things that you really don't like? I know well, getting up early The hours. Sucks. <laughs> I'm here at 4 a.m. I get up at 2.30 a.m. to get here at 4. And um, I guess there's really nothing that I do dislike but the tough part of the 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 show is getting it prepared because you know six o'clock hits we're on the air so you've got a deadline and um you know you've got tons of like i said tons of sound to get meet the press you know politics stuff cnn you've got the good morning america you've got the sports you've got the entertainment the grammys and such you know so you've got to you put all that together and we're in constant contact with each other all day long through text messaging hey get this song hey get this story check this out this is breaking news and um it just really it really keeps you busy because you know the past shows i've ever, i've been on it's been very like i said very reserved and conservative and and you know you come in you put in you do your three segments an hour and you go home and it's kind of simple this it's it, he's always pushing the envelope always pushing pushing you to do more to do more and you realize you know all the things you can do and and in the show it reflects that you know i mean the show is just a myriad of, of you know things you know a to z so and somehow some way those sound bites those that sound that music all has to come from somewhere and that's me here at 4 a.m. before <laughs> anybody else. But I wouldn't have it any other way because I'm kind of a control freak. And if anyone's going to handle that stuff, I want it to be me. Well, definitely. Thank you so much for joining us. Our last question is going to be a, def oh. a definite uh, you know, oh, head turner. Okay. Okay. Captain Crunch or uh, Fruity Pebbles? Oh, Fruity Pebbles oh, all the see? way. <laughs> what? You're a Captain Crunch girl? No, Fruity Pebbles. Oh, Fruity Pebbles. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, without a doubt. I told you I was going to bring it today. Okay, you well, did. Well, Eric, thank you so much. Definitely thank you for your honesty and thank you for taking us behind the scenes. Absolutely. <laughs> Green Groom was uh, something pretty special, but when I came in here, it's kind of a disaster. <laughs> yeah, you like it? Um, yeah, I mean, I've interviewed a lot of people, but not in this seat of chairs. <laughs> well, the green room, I don't know if that's part of the budget. If, if you notice, it's, you know, it's, I think it's been painted by us, actually. Oh, well, if you guys need to work Yeah, on they it hand a us paintbrushes and stuff, but it's, it's, um... I thought it was a really like, green room, you know, I thought we were going to have... Well, see, that's the problem. You're used to, like, the real green rooms. You work with the Panthers and stuff. You're here at 640 now. Well, this this is going to be included in the budget now. I feel like I'm in, like, a playroom. I have, like, 15 chairs, and I'm kind of, like, yeah, just watch your, it. Just like, watch your step, though, because it's, uh... Like, how do I sit? <laughs> very carefully. very <laughs> And uncomfortably. But, yeah, you know. we're going to have to address this. But, hey, I guess we'll make it work. <laughs> yeah, well, any day you want to grab a paint. Uh, see, look, the paint can's still here. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. So I'm ready you to paint. Grab a, grab a brush and help us out. Okay. I'm going to be asking you hard-hitting questions and I I heard that you were a little bit nervous but the one thing Okay, whoa. whoa. whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> it's it's been an amazing run. I mean, it's definitely by far the best the best. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's definitely the best show. I've... But the one thing Okay, whoa. whoa. whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs>